Welcome to the video introduction of the above test cockpit and above development tools in Eclipse. Above test cockpit helps you to improve the code quality in your development landscape by offering you a toolset which allows to run static code checks and above unit tests for your code. This video demonstrates how the brand new above test cockpit tools in Eclipse help you to find and solve quality problems during development process. You will see how to run static checks and above unit tests for your objects on a regular base during development process. Of course, you can also reuse your code inspector variant for this. The above test cockpit problem view is a work list for developer to display and solve quality issues. Before releasing your transports, you should run a pub test cockpit from the transport organizer view. And last but not least, you should regularly check the above test cockpit runs results from the central quality system by using above test cockpit result browser. Let's take a look at ABAP test cockpit tools in action. We are now in ABAP development tools for Eclipse and want to run the ABAP test cockpit for a single object. In the editor, use the context menu and choose Run as ABAP test cockpit. The result is displayed in the ATC problems view, which contains the work list of findings for you to work on. Now the findings are grouped by priority, errors, warnings, information. Clicking on the check result in the work list of ATC displays the detailed information about the finding. The check variant is displayed in the breadcrumb. This is the default system variant. You can also change the variant in the project properties under ABAP development, ABAP test cockpit, and we choose our custom variant containing default system checks plus ABAP unit checks. And rerun ABAP test cockpit. And now under arrows you see the new one which was added to a work list, and this is the critical assertion error of our ABAP unit test. But we will work in this video with the default variant of the system. You can select for checking more than one object. Just select some of them in the Project Explorer and use Context menu to run ABAP test cockpit. Every time you run ATC, findings will be added to your work list in the ATC problems view. This small menu here represents the filter of the ATC problems view. The main purpose of the filter is to restrict the view on the findings you need to focus on for correction. All objects are finding belonging to absolutely all checked objects. Last check run are findings found while last check run. If you want to check the entire package, just mark the package and execute ABAP test cockpit. The status bar displays shortly the running ATC notification on the right and last ATC run information on the left. And in the breadcrumb, you will see the new entry for the findings belonging to the package. It allows you to focus on the findings of the package and correct them one by one. As soon as you correct the finding, it disappears from your work list after a check. For example, in this finding, you see the hard-coded string instead of text element. And we just fix it by using Quick Fix Control 1 to create text element. Just recheck and you see that the finding disappears from the work list. Now the findings are grouped by priority, but you can also group them 
by the above object. or by checks, for your convenience. Let's go back for priority. You can also customize the view and, for example, configure the columns. And we'll hide a couple of them. Ideally, you should run ATC checks on a regular basis during your development process. And now we would like to focus on findings reported for our transport request and get rid of all of them before we release. This can be done in the Transport Organizer view in Eclipse. Here you can see the transport requests of our user. Right-click, run as above test cockpit. And now we are back in the ATC problems view. And the finding is the breakpoint we have forgotten to delete. And here you see the new filter entry transport, which allows us to focus on our transport request. Just fix this finding, go to the source code, delete the breakpoint, and recheck. It's vanished. It is recommended to check your transport requests before release to catch such situations and avoid transporting the source code with quality problems into quality and production systems. After releasing the transport, the quality manager will run with ATC the must test run for all objects in the quality system. And as soon as check run results are ready and published, you can access them directly in your development system in the View ATC Result Browser. You can select the check run on the left and display the detailed results on the right, like in the ATC Problems view. And here we display the active result of the system. The Show Details button leads to the details of the selected check run. Here again you get the same information as in the ATC Problems view. Of course you can customize the view and group the findings again by check, object or priority. Or you can also configure the columns. Before you start to correct the findings, do the recheck to make sure they are still relevant. And we see that actually the findings are contained now only in the report ATC example. And again you see here in the breadcrumb the new entry for the result. Let's take a look at the ATC example report. We will now solve the quality findings in this report in the problems view. The work list is now grouped by the priority so that we will begin with the arrow. Here you can see the false parameter type in the function call. Just navigate to the function call and see that the Exporting parameter must be the table type spfly tab. And in our report, this is the spfly, which must be corrected with regard to the function signature. We check the work list. And the error is gone. The next one looks like performance check since the select accesses the non buffered table as flight with where condition, which does not contain any key fields of the table. Just tap to the source code and enter the key field.
activate and recheck the work list again. The warning is not there. The last one is the hard-coded text message, which is not relevant for translation. There might be such situations where a fix of the finding is not possible or not appropriate. Therefore, you have the possibility to create exemptions for such source code parts so that the findings will be hidden from the results. But you can still display them by using the display option Include Exempted Findings. Just create the exemption by right-clicking on the finding. You need to enter your quality expert, just use Content Assist and enter the reason for exemption. Justification And we would like to be notified via email on approval or rejection. After a quality manager has approved it, just Recheck the work list and now you can be really sure that everything is okay and the user will not get any errors from the quality system. To summarize the above test cockpit with introduced tools in Eclipse is a tool of choice to check the code quality within your development landscape for performance, security and programming standards. For further information, please visit our community on SCN. For general information about Abaptest Cockpit, check the introduction material and guides on SCN. Thank you for your attention.